camera is simply a light, tight box with a very small pinhole that acts as the imaging system. You can use any kind of box. Um, here are a couple of uh, traditional oatmeal box pinhole cameras. This one has a pinhole in the side. By the way, this piece of black electrical tape is the shutter. The box has been painted black inside. The top is lined with light blocking material. And when this is used, the film is taped on this side of the box opposite the pinhole. Here's another variation on the oatmeal box. In this case, again, the box is painted black on the inside. The pinhole is on this end. Here's the shutter. And the film is placed inside here, uh, either a square piece or a round piece. It's a little bit easier to load in the dark. And finally, here's a small um, wooden box that has been painted black. This is a box from a, a craft store. And the pinhole is on this side and the film is placed back here. This was actually designed for use with uh, negative film, black and white negative film. To make the pinhole is really quite simple. Um, in fact, you can just take a, a sewing needle or pin and jab a hole of any size into a piece of, this is a piece of soda can, uh, makes a very good pinhole, and you'll get an image. If you would like to be a bit more scientific about it, there are formulas, including the one in, uh, in the lab write-up, that tell you what size pinhole you need in order that the focal length associated with that hole is the length from the pinhole to the film. So this particular configuration of camera has a longer focal length than this particular configuration, and this one is the shortest of all. This would require a very, very small pinhole. Well, how do you make a pinhole of a known size. And one way to do that is to take a micrometer and set the jaws to the size pinhole that you need. Take the sewing needle, insert it as far as it will go, and then use a black marker to make a mark across the needle. Now you know that when you insert the needle to that mark, you've got a hole of the appropriate diameter. A well-known and often used tool for drilling these holes is the eraser of a pencil. You put the blunt edge of the needle into that eraser and then drill. And you drill from one side, turn the metal over, drill from the other side, back and forth and back and forth until you've broken through and the hole is the correct diameter. The hole is then lightly sanded with a piece of wet, dry sandpaper. The object is to get a perfectly round hole with razor sharp edges, and that will give the clearest and uh, best images. So what about the actual photography? Well, once the pinhole camera is created, uh, the film needs to be loaded in a darkroom, unlike holography. This film is not really, really slow film uh, and that can be handled with some light. It needs to be done in a darkroom under a safe light. Once the film is loaded, the camera needs to be sealed so that there are no leaks anywhere. Uh, remember, the pinhole is quite small, and a, a tiny leak at an edge will completely swamp the film of light. We take the cameras out um, and put them somewhere. Remove the shutter and wait five, ten seconds, uh, depending upon the amount of light, uh, whether it's a sunny day or a cloudy day. This is a matter for, of experience. Close up the shutter, take it in, and develop the film. The easiest film to use is film paper, because then the image comes out. It is a negative, but it's very easy to develop, and you get the image right away. Um, it's easiest if you use a kind of developer and fixer that come in a liquid form. Much, much easier than mixing the powders. You can just pour the amount of liquid that you need, mix it with distilled water and develop the film according to the package directions. Uh, there is silver in the fixer waste, and so you have to be sure that the waste is disposed of according to local and state regulations. The pictures that you get are really very interesting. They have very, very long depth of field. Uh, there's, they're sort of oddly distorted. In fact, there are many photographers who favor pinhole cameras and pinhole photography because it gives a slightly different uh, artistic look at the world. 
If you don't want to mess with the uh, chemicals, but you still would like to have a pinhole photo to take home, another possibility is to use a standard uh, SLR camera. Remove the lens and get a body cap. The body cap then is the carrier for the pinhole. So cut a hole in the body cap, mount the pinhole there, and then just shoot a whole roll of film using a pinhole instead of the camera lens that you normally use. You can have this film developed at any camera shop. This is a pinhole photo taken by a student using an oatmeal box pinhole camera. The day was sunny and the exposure time was about eight seconds. You can also make a positive by making a contact print. Sandwich the original photo and a piece of undeveloped film between glass plates and expose to a bright light for a few seconds.